So when we're looking at the not self, all centers show dysfunction. Remember how we went through LID and there's a healthy and an unhealthy state? The unhealthy state, whether it's defined or undefined, is the not self center dysfunction. So what Ross says here is that all you need is patience in order to see every possible variation of your not self and the resistance it goes on meeting again and again. The more clearly you can see your not self and it is uncomfortable, it comes sometimes scary and disgusting, quite frankly, because you're like, oh, I can't believe that's me. Well, it's not you. It's conditioning. So the more you can see that conditioning, the more clearly you can see your true self. If you were to imagine, I was looking for a slide, uh, an image last night, couldn't find anything, but just imagine like a puppet, um, hand puppet, and it makes a really freaky, you know, shadow behind you. It can be distorted, right? Items can be distorted. The shadow can make us think that there's something big and scary and freaky there when it's just a hand, right? So if you're looking at your distorted not self shadows and you can see through it and you can see the hand, you can see what's creating it, you can see that it's the, and I'm going back to Mikhail Sharp, it's just the shadow of the distorted not self, whatever it is, the activation in that center that's causing this pain and suffering that is not you. So if you can help not only you, but them see things as they are, rather than as we are here. Um, Anais Nin was a writer and she says, we do not see things as they are, we see things as we are. It's so true. We see things through the conditioning. And if there's a lot of conditioning, there's a lot of static on the line when you're trying to communicate to somebody else. There's a lot of uh, soot on the window when you're trying to see things clearly. So the more that you can see through the conditioning, the deeper you're going to be able to help other people because now you can see their conditioning too. And this is where true compassion arises in your work. If you have compassion for yourself because you know what they're going through, because you've been there yourself, you can make a really big difference in somebody's life because you're speaking from a place of true knowing. This is the difference between teaching, living your design as an awakening experience or as a workshop. Not to say that anybody's, it's just very, very different to go through an experience versus just repeating words off a slide. So I want you guys to know this stuff really, really well. In this presentation, there are a couple of slides. I need you to know like that, like you could write it in your sleep blindfolded. It's not a big deal, these not self, um, statements, but you need to know them like that so that you can hear and see when somebody's operating out of it. So you're going to be able to see how the not self centers are all dysfunctional, whether defined or undefined. So if they're defined or undefined and dysfunctional as a not self, that means then if you're looking at the openness in the design with unattached observation, that will lead you to wisdom. When you're seeing your mind's process in the openness in your own design, with awareness, there is not suffering in the same way. The ignorance that most people walk around is, they identify with that voice inside of their head, which is coming from conditioning, and that's their shadow self. And we know we have tools, we have a chart that we can show them the conditioned state and the healthy state. So what you're going to do is describe their not self purpose so that you can show them the mirror of their shadow self and shatter or just release. A lot of times it's just a release, but sometimes there might be a shattering. It might be really intense. Shatter that conditions minds hold on their life by revealing their not self purpose. Let's see what the chat is here. Only the not self suffers. Mm -hmm, that's a quote from Ra. Only the not self suffers. True self has compassion for that openness. And again, this is the, a big key here. I made it really big for, on purpose. Unattached observation of openness is what leads us to wisdom. So how the not self works is that we have openness in the design and we have definition in the design. The white ones are conditioned to behave as if they're colored in. They want to be colored in. The colored ones 
are where we will meet resistance from trying to make decisions out here, from trying to live what we are not. You know, you would, you would think from a beginner standpoint, the not self all lives out here. There's no not self over here. That's true self. It's defined. But if it's unhealthy, that's not self because it's coming from you making decisions out in the openness. And when you make a decision out in the openness, I'm going to prove my worth. And then out here in my emotions, I feel bitter because I made a decision by proving my worth, not from my emotional clarity. So the conditioning causes us to get resistance in the definition. And the resistance shows up depending on what channels are colored in. What channels are colored in are the ones that are type channels that have either anger or frustration or bitterness or if they're totally open, disappointment. Does that make sense to everybody? Because this is the, one of the key concepts that I want to make sure I get clear that this is not not self and this is true self. Not necessarily. In the beginning, it's all not self if you're not awake, aware, or in alignment. So when you're looking at the open centers, they're not to be confused with the not self. Big, 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 important point. Okay, this is not your not self. In and of themselves, they are innocent parts of your nature that are the most vulnerable to conditioning because there's no consistency in how it functions in your design. No consistency over your entire lifetime and how it functions because it's just not defined. Because they hold your wisdom potential, this can also easily become wounds, pain, suffering through a distorted misidentification with self. 